have a decimal called uh, 2.5. Okay. When we have to represent that in fractions, you have to write the numerical value as it is. Okay. Here you can see 25. No, you can write it as it is. And in denominator, you have to indicate some 10 multiples. Okay. 10 powers. In that case, you have to count how many digits after the decimal point. After decimal, we have only one digit. Okay. We have only one digit. That means 10 to the power of 1 is going to be our denominator. After the decimal, we have only one number. Okay. One digit. So 10 to the power of 1 should be our denominator in this case. Okay. Let's start to do what is 10 to the power of 1. Okay. 10 to the power of 1 means 10. Okay. 10. Only 10. 10 to the power of 2 means 10 into 10. 10 multiplied with another 10. This is 10 to the power of 10. So that will give you the number as 100. Okay. That will give you 100. Then when we consider about 10 to the power of 3, 10 into 10 into 10. Okay. This is going to be 1000. Okay. 1000. You have to familiar with these 10 powers. 10 powers or index of 10. Index of 10. 10 to the power of 1 means directly 10. 10 to the power of 2 means not a big task. 10, 1 with 2 zeros. 10 to the power of 2, no, 2 zeros. 10 to the power of 3 means 3 zeros. That's the way we have to write our respective fractions. So 25 upon 10 should be our fraction in this case. When we deal with another question, 3.19. Okay, here. We can write the numerical value 319. This one should be divided by how many digits after the decimal point? 1 and 2. There are 2 digits. So 10 to the power of 2. That means 319 upon 100. Then for our last question in this example set of 451.3. Okay, 451.3. Uh, let's write the numerical value 4513 in denominator only one digit after the decimal point no? 10 to the power of 1 it means 4513 upon 10 that's all for this conversion from decimals to fractions okay first 15.5 we can write the numerical value and one digit after the decimal point that means 10 to the power of 1. That is 155 upon 10. Okay. So the next one is 2627 upon 10 to the power of 1. Okay. 10 to the power of 1 because 1 digit after the decimal point. That means 2627 upon 10. Then for the next one. That is uh, 1325. Here you can see after the decimal point there are three digits 3, 2, and 5. So this should be 10 to the power of 3. So that will become 1325 upon 1000. For the next one, 449 upon 10 to the power of 1. So that will become 449. 9 upon 10. After that, um, 1441. Okay, 1441 upon 2 digits after the decimal point. So that means 10 to the power of 2. 1441 upon 100. Then for final question, the answer is 7693 upon 10 to the power of 3. That means 